Yeah, the story behind Black and White is is it's one that is for sure tongue in cheek, and we knew that going in. Um, but we we were always talking about cafes and our ideal cafe, and especially when we were around uh, 3FE Coffee in Third Floor Espresso Coffee in Dublin. The hospitality was, you know, primo. The coffee was extraordinary. The food was out, out, outstanding. And what drew me was to this place was that the community that the baristas had, and you can kind of feel it and see it behind the bar. Uh, that was really a cafe that sparked both of our interests because it had this amazing coffee program and it's a really lovely food program. I think we probably ate more meals at 3FE than we ate anywhere else in Dublin when we were there for WBC. And so it was, yeah, the conversation was, Lynn wanted this like kind of all white, think like soda fountain, like early, I guess 50s, I don't really know when they did those. I wasn't alive. Um, soda fountain thing, like everyone drank, we're all white, like the kind of soda jerk concept. From, uh, the floors are white, the counters are white, the espresso machines are white. That's what he really thought was cool. And I was really into what uh, Barista in Portland was doing at the time, which was everything was black. Uh, and the only thing that was like uh, poppy was the coffee. And I thought that was, that's a really cool kind of purist way to think about it. Turns out uh, both ideas are awful. Uh, all black is terrible to photograph and uh, people are not into it. And all white is terrible to keep clean. So, you know, there's some balance was needed in that concept. More than just the color of equipment, uh, it became more of simplicity in how we presented um, coffees to, to the public and to the community. 